getting away from that nice guy vibe. I would say the nice guy says it in a way it's like, hey, nice outfit. I was wondering what your ethnicity was. Listen to the delivery. The nice guy has a certain vibe to him in his delivery. He oftentimes he's talking more from his upper chest, not from his lower stomach. Okay. You need to try to have more of an, I don't even want to say authoritative, but it's just a more masculine voice when you're talking from your diaphragm than talking from your upper chest. Hey, what's up? I like your outfit. Hey, nice outfit. It just resonates differently. Okay. Yeah. There are actual differences in words that you can say as well to avoid being the nice guy, but like the way that you're talking, the tonality that you're talking with the pitch of your voice, the rhythm of your voice, the animation and expression in your face and in your words is ultimately what's categorizing you as a nice guy. Okay. So the nice guy, there isn't like that burst of authoritative emotion. It's like so bland and like emotionless. It's like, Hey, nice outfit. I hear some guys talk at the club, even clients of mine. And I'm just like, man, if we could just change the way you talk, it's not even about the actual line that you're saying. It's the way that you're talking. It's triggering some kind of emotion within me. That's categorizing you as a certain person. Think about like an alpha masculine dude. Okay. He's most likely a leader to some extent. So leaders talk with a certain tonality at a certain volume, and they're typically more confident and more successful in their lives. They're just typically in a better mood. They have more expression in their face as well. And they talk in a way where people acknowledge them when they're talking. All right. So when you talk like this, Hey, nice outfit. It just communicates to the girl right away. Like right away. I can just tell this dude is a certain way. This dude's lifestyle is a certain way. Because I guarantee you like a really super successful dude who gets women that has men following him around. He doesn't communicate like that. I just know he doesn't. All of this theory is just automatically embedded in a woman unconsciously or subconsciously. It's embedded in their DNA. They're designed to follow and be attracted to leaders. Why is that? Because if they're in a tribe, it's all about the kid and their baby and them having a baby. They want to reproduce with a man whose baby is going to survive. So they're programmed to be attracted to leaders. So when they see somebody that looks good, that looks masculine, automatically they're on the radar. Oh, this dude might be potentially a leader or a masculine or an alpha dude just based on his look. And that's why they'll put themselves in their vicinity of the alpha. Okay, they'll give the dude an opportunity to engage, or maybe they'll even present an opportunity for them to communicate. From there, she's analyzing the way you talk, the way you look at her, your body languages. Are there any nervous mannerisms going on while this dude's communicating with me? What happens when I shit test him? How does he respond? I need to do these things to determine what his value is. So the way you talk, the way you look, the way you engage, the way you communicate, all of these things is what is categorizing you as a nice guy, because typically the nice guy isn't the leader because he doesn't communicate like the leader. Okay. And, and whether or not he actually is a leader in his life or, or he is super successful, doesn't matter. There's a lot of guys that are millionaires that don't get women. They can't get a girl attracted to them because they don't understand the theory that I'm telling you right now. You need to start communicating and maneuvering through the world in a way that triggers within the girl. This dude is somebody that's why she gets attracted to you. That's why when she communicates with you, her DNA is telling her we should have the baby with this guy. As a result, she gets more turned on and more attracted and her pussy gets wet to receive your semen so she can have the baby with you. That's why attraction is even the way it is. All of this stems back to the way you're talking, the way you're delivering the lines, the way your voice sounds. If your voice doesn't sound that good, you need to work on it. And it may take some time. It took me years. Okay. If this is your first time understanding or hearing anything like this, you need to make it a point to start working on that guys that talk slower will, will naturally come across as more relaxed. It also gives you a little bit more time to focus on the way you're delivering things. The more you practice this stuff, the more you will naturally embody these kinds of communications. But initially, if you're a guy that's talking like this and you talk very fast or you talk just nasally and it, it, your voice sounds like this and you, 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 you stutter a lot, we need to fix those things. If you want hot women, 
You're not going to you're not going to get get the hot girl when you're talking to the girl like this, okay? Because your voice is coming from up here. How I can talk like this too. My voice wasn't naturally that high. There are some guys that their voice is that high. Everybody has their own disadvantages, right? So you need to work on the parts of you that are the weakest. So if your voice is kind of like that, you want to do everything you can to start slowing down the way you talk. More animation, a bigger smile, good eye contact, talking loud, okay? And from your diaphragm. And the more and more you do this, the more powerful the communication is going to get, okay? If you've watched me, my communication just keeps getting better. My voice sounds even better now than it did two years ago. If I put on a video from me in 2019, my communication sounds better. I come across more confident. I look better. I am constantly working on this thing. I was not born this way at all, guys. Okay, so it is something you need to work on. You need to see yourself on a recording to see how you sound. That's the only way you're going to know how the fuck you sound. You need to record yourself and analyze your communication. Okay, that was a long winded rant just for me to tell you guys, if you sound like a nice guy, you need to be focusing on optimizing your communication, your nonverbals, not the words you're saying, but the way you are coming across in your impressions to people. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're interested in working with me personally to implement any of the things I talked about in this video to ultimately become the best version of yourself, to become a better conversationalist, to be more socially confident, to attract women into your life and ultimately achieve your goals with women and dating, I can help you with that. I'm the fucking guy for that, okay? Click the link in the description, fill out the application, and we will be contacting you to discuss further details. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And until next time, Coach Kyle, signing out. Peace.